Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today is Thursday the 6th of April and guess what? Me and Cameron, this is my brother, Hello. we are off to stay at one of Britain's worst hotel chains hotels. Does that make sense? No, I think it is Britain's worst hotel chain <laughs> and it's 60 out of 62 in Aberdeen. The only thing worse I think is a travel lodge that has no facilities and a bed and breakfast. So this is it. This is our um, hotel for the night. So we're staying at a Britannia hotel which has been voted to be Britain's worst hotel chain for the last 10 years. And this is it guys. This is the hotel and we are staying dinner and breakfast and we've only got a bed and breakfast rate and we're going to pay for dinner separate but we are going to vlog the lot, we'll take you with us and let's go and stay <laughs> at Britain's worst hotel chain, Hotel. <laughs> Am I mile from my house. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> we're actually only staying less than a mile from Cameron's house and this is it. It does look like a bit of a dive. <laughs> Oh, it's cosy. It's nice and cosy. Really nice and warm. So check-in was nice and easy. Um, we were the only people checking in. Um, we we're in room, oh, this is the lift. Oh, wow. That reminds me of like a fridge door at the mortuary. <laughs> well, okay, well. So we've had to register our car so we don't get any fines. I have read reviews that people have been charged a lot of money in fines having stayed at the hotel. Um, but yeah, check-in was quick and easy and we're just finding our room now. Oh, lovely view. Lovely view, yeah. <laughs> Nothing bad so far. Yeah. yeah. Positive experience so oh. far. Oh, house wine all I, I told you. I told you would get rosy. That's like when you ask for the wine list, it'll be like, do you want red or white? Red or white? Well, <laughs> ten pound a bottle. Oh, yeah. That's good. Probably one each. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Man. Wrong upside down. Okay. Good. Let's do a full room tour. <laughs> Have you seen the cur the curtains? Yeah. Remember when Gran used to smoke and we weren't meant to know that she was on the fags all the time? Yeah. This is what our house smells like. Smell like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm scared you break them further. Right, so you come in the door, we have got an ironing board, we've got places to hang some clothes, we've got a fan, which is ace because you don't get that in a lot of hotel rooms, um, spare pillows, We've got our towels, a clean bin, and an iron. Uh, oh, and a big tall mirror that you can see full body length. Again, you don't get that in every hotel. All right. So, a mirror. There's some mascara on it. Yeah, dirty mirror, but we can deal with that. We've got a leather chair. Carpet is lovely and clean. Um, we have got one double bed, another double bed, big lights, and then another chair, table. I think this room is just really big. Yeah, this is the state of the curtains. Yeah, I, I don't really know what's going on with that. And they are filthy and holy. Like a moth has Bless. got to that. Bless by Jesus. Bless by Jesus. <laughs> and then this is how the windows open. Okay. Jump yeah. Out yeah. <laughs> oh, hi. Okay. Is it comfy? Yeah, I can live with this, I think. Samsung telly. <sighs> yeah. Some, some nice art on the wall. Yeah. It's definitely dated. <laughs> <laughs> Understatement of the year. Oh, we've got a telly. Oh, and a kettle. And a kettle. Yeah, we'll go and open the kettle. Oh, me? Yeah. 
I, I remember mean, we stayed in a caravan once and there was... Oh, yeah, that door is freaking me out. Oh! Oh, wow. This is brand new for us. It probably doesn't work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's great. And we've got big mugs. Yeah. Stitters. All oh, right. Oh, the ceiling. Yeah. It looks like other rooms are going to come through. Are we not on the top floor? <laughs> Oh, we've got a fire alarm. This is this is all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're wondering, we paid eighty five pounds for this room, um, with, breakfast. with breakfast, which is all right for Aberdeen rates because Aberdeen is so expensive to stay over at in a hotel. So, but so far, the actual room is clean. The windows aren't. The curtain is having issues. The room is big, there's tables, there's chairs, there's a telly. Will we go and have a look at the bathroom? You can let us know um, at the end of the video if you think it's worth the £85. It's too soon to say. Okay. Right, so we're away to enter the bathroom. I can see that the lighting on this is really weird. Ooh, looks like people have taken bite, bite, there's bite marks on the door. That's nice. <laughs> Another huge mirror, which is great. More towels. This is the sink. I think there's that's bite marks. Look, all the chunks taken out of the door. Oh jeez. Right. Go turn it on. The water. What the shower? Okay, the shower curtain. It's it's averagely clean. Oh god, this is back in the day. How do you? You need to turn the taps on. No, I don't know what this is. Oh, oh, oh. here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Look, it gets hot. Yeah. All right. Okay. We've got some hair and body wash. Yeah, I think the biggest issue is that curtain. It's just hanging on in there, isn't it? <laughs> kind of car parts out there. Right, I thought I would share with you some of the reviews that I have found. So The Guardian have published that the Britannia has been named worst UK hotel chain for the 10th year in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have anything to say on that. So then I went on to TripAdvisors and checked their reviews and it says, I'll read a few, avoid at all costs, the room have no windows. Is that this one or just anywhere? No, this is Aberdeen. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. But the room, our room has windows. <laughs> Very dirty windows, but we have windows. Went to check in and was met with unwelcome, unwelcoming staff. Well, we weren't. Yeah, yeah. She was nice. She wasn't. Room was good size and very dated, but not clean. Well, our room's clean. An absolute dive, someone has said. Stayed here while whilst pregnant. Yeah. yeah. That was stupid. That was so No hot water in the morning. Oh no. That would be a problem. Brothel. Someone has said it's a brothel. Please, please don't go here. Nothing but a brothel. I mean I've never been to a brothel, but I imagine <laughs> some of them are probably quite nice. Yeah. <laughs> what you think a brothel would be nicer than this? Perhaps. Yeah. Perhaps, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'll probably never find out. If you are unfortunate enough to have booked, please keep all your items in your pockets or a bag and keep it with you at all times as prostitutes are thieves. Okay. Is that just general advice for, Stole. for life? Or? <laughs> yeah. Stole from right under our noses. Okay. Done about it, a weed smoker's paradise. Oh, lovely. Don't waste your time unless you're planning to get drunk out your face or stoned out your face. Well, we could try. Shame the hotel has gone downhill. So it must have been really good at yeah. one point. Well, back in the 1960s, it was probably top notch and stunning. It must have been. <laughs> yeah. When the Russian architect decided to. <laughs> <laughs> it was like being at Crufts with the amount of dogs. Good job no one was allergic to them. Well, Cameron's taken antihistamines in case there's bed bugs. 
the hotel where people go to die. By far, by far the worst hotel I've ever stayed at. I don't hate it so far. I think it's okay. All I ask is for good service and a clean room. And both things we've had really, apart from the window. Yeah, but nobody likes cleaning a window. No one likes cleaning a window. This is probably what my windows look like at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I brought a bottle of Prosecco with me and I was just thinking about nipping down to the bar to get a ice bucket and two glasses but what they have on offer downstairs is probably cheaper than what I brought with me yeah so well we should treat ourselves yeah will we treat ourselves to a bottle of Prosecco downstairs can we do that can we not do they have Prosecco uh, maybe well, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> yeah, we'll be going to see what they've got yeah, on offer. So we've just found another pr promo deal at the, on the way downstairs. A weekday hotel special. Oh, Any crazy. starter in Maine plus a pint of Carlsberg. San Miguel? For £13.50. Oh, yeah. oh wow. That's dinner sorted, boss. <laughs> So we're down in the bar. I've got a Corona. What have you got? San Miguel. Eight pounds for the round. Um, we don't think we have any lime. There was no Prosecco. I didn't see any Prosecco in the food. We didn't ask, no. Hmm. And we were just sitting having a drink. It's roasted down here. It's so warm. Yeah. And it just looks like this is like the kind of place where workers stay whilst they're working and like the roads or whatever. So, cheers everyone. What a lovely Thursday. <laughs> and this is it. This is the bar. Oh. And then this is the restaurant over there and the bar here. And we've got some daytime telly on. Right guys, just in the toilet. So far so good, you know, really enjoying it. Yeah, it's all like construction workers, like guys out on the streets, like Glaswegians, English people, like all up here working. <laughs> they were so chatty, really lovely and like all with their pints and stuff after work. And they were like, why are you staying? And I was like, this was actually me. I was like, um, Cameron was like, oh, we're just painting our flat. <laughs> Alright, haven't really experienced much of the horrible reviews we've read. Happy with this. We're going to the staging post. Which is a pub? Yeah. The local. The local, so we're going to go out. This is like a weekend away, isn't it? Well, that's what I was trying to make out of it. Ah, okay. We're so still going back for our £10 wine. But... Yeah, we're going back for a £10 wine and we are having our, our dinner there. Um, but how lovely are the staff and how lovely are the construction workers? Yeah. They're so nice. One of them who's had four pints by six o'clock was <laughs> after finishing work at five was even <laughs> shouting, I love the Britannia. Yeah. So. They were like, it's all right for one night, you know. <laughs> um, they were like, yeah, they were saying, yeah, all those workers were saying how much they love it in there. It's better than staying in any Airbnb, which is obviously good. 12 pound to have all your week's laundry done as well. <laughs> I might even start just cooking in just to have that done. I know. And we just left there. They served dinner until quarter past eight. And when we left, um, oh, we the guys were all like, bye guys, see ya. <laughs> um, all the residents that are staying there. How cute is that? Night door sofa, TV. How's that for a beer garden? <laughs> I see you. <laughs> yeah. Just throw this out here. Yeah. I think I prefer the Britannia. <laughs> Have you been in here before? Yeah. Right, so we've got more Corona. Cheers. Hello, gorgeous. Do you want a drink, Laura? <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I uh, prefer the Britannia to the studio. Yeah. yeah, it's cheaper here though at yeah. the staging post than the Britannia. Don't you wonder why? <laughs> Hi, was £6 pound a round. So £6 for this round and we were £8 for the last round at the Britannia. We're supporting local here which is nice. Yeah. So we are just walking back and this is the outside. Look, daily rates from £39. 
Not for us, no. But we've got breakfast included. Heading back in for dinner now. Home sweet home. Home sweet home for the night. Right, we're at dinner and this is the menu. Starters, mains and puddings. Two courses and a drink for 13 50 It's almost like being at uh, Weatherspoons. <laughs> it is actually. Yeah, it smells really good in here. It does. Less it smells choice. really nice. Right, so we've got two glasses of red and we have got pork belly bites. We've Haggis got bites. Ha a battered fish and burger. a burger for £27. Right. Two glasses of red. Sorry. Don't know what it is, but it's nice. And then this is the restaurant. And then there, it looks like breakfast is like a buffet over there. And then there's just some tables and chairs. And the bar is there. And someone's just brought in their own pizza. <laughs> Watching his standards. Legend. Legend. So the haggis has arrived. And we've got the pork belly bites. I don't know what sauce that is. Uh, mustard. Something mustard. I don't know what I should have been the first one helping you get diagnosed. Does it taste like a haggis bonbon? Is yeah. it good? Yeah, it's good. Like, <laughs> actually, like, eight out of ten good. Eight out of ten? Yeah, it's right up there. <laughs> this is the port belly. It's going that's good as well. Is it good? Yeah, eight out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try that. Yeah, that's actually <laughs> Those starters were fantastic. Eight, eight and a half, nine out of ten for me. Like, they were like proper good. But genuinely, like value for money, like right up there. Incredible. Considering like the, we don't know what we're getting for our main jet, but yeah, it might be start, too soon to say. <laughs> but even like thirteen fifty with the wine. Oh yeah. For starter, I mean, there's no starter for like nine or ten. Like, yeah, like, they were so good. Pub food, like that is as good as like simple pub food comes. Like that, that pork, pork was so yeah, tasty. Was so the good. sauce was so. It was actually a little bit spicy as well. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. nice. Roll on mains. Yeah. The steak burger with bacon and no cheese, it's huge and we've got some sweet chilli sauce, some tomato something and the chips are so good already, I've just tried them, they're roasting. And then we've got the biggest battered fish ever with so many peas and so many fries. We're going to try this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so good. Roasting hot. Mm. The bacon is so crispy. That's unreal. So good. <laughs> We've actually just half the fish, and you can see how huge it is. They look a little anemic, but they're not. No, and they're roasting. Mm. They're like fresh out the fire. It looks really nice and crispy. Mm. <laughs> I don't know why we're so shocked. Yeah, just snobby. <laughs> is it good? It's so good. Isn't it? <laughs> this is brilliant. Typical bar food. Mm -hmm. Good evening, guys. We finished dinner and then we headed off to the four mile um, up by Bucksburn or something for a drink, which was really nice. Yeah, the tap's funny. And then we have come home, we're just going to bed. Um, I just thought we could quickly talk about dinner. So dinner was so good. I was so pleasantly surprised. I'm only surprised because of all the reviews we read earlier. <laughs> He's drenched. The tap is a bit funny. I feel like it goes on and off, like the no, opposite. Goes, yeah, the opposite. The opposite way of normal, way of normal yeah. yeah. And then the liquid on the toilet seat is from water from the end of my toothbrush and not pee because how did your toothbrush water get onto the toilet you're like so you're peeing and then you're like zzz, did you like, pee and brush your teeth at the same time yeah but my accuracy was 100 percent, so it's like drip from the toothbrush oh. i'm certain <laughs> oh. right, so. anyway <laughs> dinner so dinner um really liked the burger 
like eight out of ten starters were like somewhere between an eight and a nine yeah they caught me off guard fish i wasn't so fussed about it was a big portion so good value for money the but... fish was so crispy and so nice and hot and fresh I love oh, the see, fish. I think it was like my issue with it was that I think it was frozen. Like But the batter was super crispy. Yeah. And nice. Yeah, it was good. It was just Yeah. Um and uh, the bed is harder than my initial review. Oh, is it? Like, when we got here I was like really surprised, but it's a bit sturdy and you can like feel the springs. <laughs> oh, but... <laughs> I'm sure it won't do me any harm. <laughs> I'm comfortable. Yeah, 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 I'm so comfy. I'm not upset. No, I'm loving this. Overall, I've been impressed with the experience. Yeah. So I just think we paid too much. Yeah. yeah. So I agree. We paid 85 and so far I would pay about £50 and I would pay what I paid for dinner separate, of course, because it was really good. We were £27 for dinner, which is crazy. It's just the problem is we're in Aberdeen and Aberdeen's really expensive. So I think like this hotel, I was saying earlier, it gives me Blackpool vibes or it gives me like airport vibes. If you were going to a concert, this would be a good place to stay or like on a school trip or something. But yeah, it's just been a great experience so far. We've got nothing really to complain about. No. The, the window is my biggest complaint in the curtain. And the datedness of the whole, of the room, like I can get over it like that, doesn't actually bother me at all. I'm probably gonna watch some telly and we'll catch you first thing in the morning. Good night. Good morning, guys. Uh, we are just a way to head for breakfast, but how did you sleep? Uh, yeah, like seven out of 10. Yeah. Was, like the bed's pretty solid. And... I just feel like it needs a good um, mattress protector, you know, like a yeah. big thick mattress protector to make it like really comfortable. But um, I was comfy enough, the room temperature was fine, I slept very well, um, there wasn't any noise, um, yeah, it was alright. I think they put us so far away on purpose, like we're not near anyone else, yeah, we don't hear anyone's door opening, it's quite good of them actually. Yeah, we're right at the arse end of the hotel. Like, there's no one else going about. But yeah, um, slept very well. We're just heading off for breakfast now. Right, so this is breakfast. We've got fruits, butter, milk, juice, toast, cereal. But there's no hot food, so we're wondering if you actually have to order that fresh. So we'll see. This is a restaurant. Right, we've just ordered breakfast with the receptionist. <laughs> <laughs> bit weird, but whatever. Um, no menu. Yeah, no menu. What do you want? It's like it's just um, bacon, beans, tomato, egg and all that. And I was like, perfect. And he was like, you'll take it as it comes. And I said, yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Just getting all introduced now. Cool. <laughs> right, we actually couldn't drink that orange juice, so we're back for apple. Do you want to taste a little yeah, bit yeah. first? <laughs> Yeah, a million times better. Okay. Okay, I'll just just, just avoid the orange. Just thing. avoid the orange, the apple is perfect. Okay. And coffee? Let's have coffee. Black coffee, espresso, cappuccino, hot chocolate. I'm just gonna go and see what happens. Oh yeah, it's rapid. <laughs> <laughs> has arrived we've got fried sausages which are actually my favorite kind of sausage like they've obviously been in a fryer i love black pudding and beans we've got a good looking fried egg the coffee machine poured this coffee within like 10 seconds and um, we've got sauces and toast no he didn't mention the hash brown though did he it is my coffee looks good it smells ace Right, I'm a few bites in. This is really good. I'm so glad it's not a buffet. The bacon's a little cold. 
The beans are piping hot. Really good so far. Right, so that breakfast was absolutely delightful. Really enjoyed that. Um, beans were hot. Coffee, I would miss out on the coffee and the orange juice, but everything else was perfect. What do you think? Uh, well, I don't like breakfast normally, and I thought my sausage was cooked within an inch of its life, but the bacon was nice. Mm -hmm. And you had fruit as well? I did, yeah, the peaches were really good. And what did you think of the coffee? I didn't like the coffee, yeah. No. It was still there. <laughs> <laughs> it's still got a full cup of coffee. The apple juice is a Yeah, the apple juice is very nice. Right, we're back from breakfast. I'm going to give the shower a miss um, because I haven't brought my shower gel with me and it's like a soap dispenser thing on the shower. You know, like for hair and body wash and stuff. I just don't know if I can. Oh, we've got a little creature in the bath. I'll be brief, yeah. Yeah, do, do it. it. <laughs> yeah. Right, Cam's gonna review the shower. Um like six out of ten. Mm -hmm. So the review about there being no hot water, had plenty of hot water. Uh water pressure was good. It was like a garden hose. Oh yeah. Just came out in one one stream. <laughs> um, and there in the, the hair and body wash that was empty. So my hair hasn't been washed. And you used to use the little bar of hand soap. Yeah, because we didn't bring anything with us. Which is good for the review. Yeah. So yeah. I just wasn't brave enough. Five out of ten maybe. I don't think a wee creature survived either. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> just sitting watching telly, waiting for Cam to pack up and we'll head for checkout. <laughs> right, we've just checked out. So let's have some ratings. Oh, I'm struggling. Like overall? Yeah. Uh, I think we paid too much. I think we paid too much. £50, £60 would maybe have been enough. With breakfast. With breakfast. Dinner was a bargain. Dinner was a bargain and it was really good. The food has been good. It's been clean enough. It's just a bit dated. That's the only thing. And by a bit, you mean like 40 H years. Hugely yeah. dated, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't have anything to complain about. I wish there was shower gel in the shower, shower gel. Thing. Yeah, and not a bug, but slept really well. The bed. The coffee was crap. Coffee was crap. The bed was Orange actually juice fine. Was worse. Yeah, and I think it's perfect for just like a flying visit. Yeah. The bed. Uh, I mean, I slept well, but I think I got violated by a few springs through the night. I heard when you sat down there. The whole bed. Yeah. yeah, that wasn't my back. That was the mattress. Yeah. But yeah, I think it was great, guys. If you want to see more videos like this, then please just leave a comment down below. We would love to do this again. Now to stay in Aberdeen's most luxurious hotel. Yeah, somebody recommend something nice for her to take me to. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, hit that subscribe button so we can do more videos like this. And thank you. See you later. Bye. Bye.